Well, hello, Andrea. Thank you so much for being a part of our career panel. Um, if you could please just introduce yourself, uh, tell us all what your job title is, who you work for, if you've been associated with the CESU or LTER networks in the past, and how long you've been working for uh, your agency. Um, hi, Paige. Uh, thanks for inviting me. Uh, my name is Andrea Nocentini. And uh, I work as ecological analyst uh, for the water quality team on the environmental resources uh, uh, branch of the Environmental Protection Office Department of the Seminole Tribe of Florida. I've been working uh, in this position for a year. And before then, I worked for about two years and a half as a contractor for Everglades National Park, uh, South Florida uh, Natural Resource uh, Center. And um, I... I have interacted with uh, FCLTR when I, before working with the park, I was for two years uh, a postdoc at FIU in John Kominowski's lab. Awesome. Thank you so much. And so I asked you to reflect on um, the theme challenges and benefits. So in your current position, um, what do you like best about your job and what do you like least? And so... Uh, you know, working for agencies, uh, you know, managing natural resources and coming from the academia. One of the things that I like is that uh, this type of job, uh, as, uh, as I work with a lot of data, at least at, in my current position, and I tend to do a lot of run analysis, is that you're faced always with new challenges. And so there, I feel that uh, one of the best thing about this job is the, that uh, you get to learn continuously. So you, you get to learn uh, uh, new methodologies or even apply the known methodologies to new environments or new situations. And so it's both like a professional growth and a human growth in the way that uh, by doing this, you also get to interact with uh, um, different people all the time. <clears throat> and the other, the other component is that in my current position, since I'm not like a very high level, you still get to... Uh, split your time between some field work and office work, which is always nice because we are so I'm an ecologist, and so I I I enjoy being out in the nature and you know sampling or just exploring. And then the last thing that I would say is uh, um, also that uh, um, you know my previous job at the park and this current job they've given me kind of a flexibility, and a lot of these jobs nowadays, especially after COVID, they give you uh flexibility in terms of like working from the office and working from home if i could name one thing that it can be challenging or like that i don't really like too much is sometimes maybe there's like um it can be unpredictable for example we work i work for water quality so sometimes we have like uh um some emergencies where we need to uh, change our plans last minute or work extra time well thank you so much for your answer and so you mentioned a little bit about um, kind of balancing your household along with your career. So if you could expand on that and how you're able to balance time between your family as well as um, your career. Yes, uh, as I said, like, you know, the, flex the, the, the ability to work from home sometimes uh, working at the computer obviously helps mm -hmm. a lot. Uh, you can bring your work at home. And mm -hmm. uh, I try not to do it, meaning like, you know, I try just to, uh, you know, achieve what I can through, you know, um, at the end, within the, my, my work day, you know, but this type of job sometimes, you know, just because of the responsibilities that you feel and the deadline, sometimes it can happen. And it's okay that it happens sometimes because it's good to pursue a, a fulfilling uh, professional uh, career and, and be successful, try to be successful. But I think mm -hmm. also a very important component of having a, um, successful professional life it's also like a striking a balance between your personal life and your professional life because I think they they feed into each other yeah. so by being satisfied at work I think uh, uh, you can you can have a thriving personal life and family life and in the other way around is very true as well because if you if you dedicate your time to your own uh, passions outside of work and to your loved ones and and so forth i think that feeds feeds into your job and so allows you probably often to be more creative uh, yeah. and um and so venture into 
into things that then are very rewarding on a professional level. For the last question, um, it's a question we're asking all of our panelists. So when reflecting on the different challenges and benefits you have experienced um, working for the Seminole Tribe, what is one piece of advice that you would have given yourself from the beginning of your career journey? Well, the important decisions on my life, I felt like uh, that I've always mostly felt, uh, followed my instinct and my feelings, uh, what it felt right, rather mm -hmm. than what I calculated was the best option. Yeah. Uh, and so might be not a very good advice, but it has worked for me. And so I felt that I wanted to share it. Um, so that would be it. <laughs> so thank you so much, Andrea, um, for meeting with us today. And we look forward to hearing more from you at the career panel. Sounds good. Uh, thanks so much for having me. And, uh, and, I'm, and I'm glad to have participated.